forget to unmute yourself. <laughs> Folks, Thursday night, welcome aboard. Bird Hobo Inc. presents Cacophony. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, instead of watching those boring ass basketball games, this is going to be much more entertaining. <laughs> uh, these guys are now ninth level and they're crossing the desert uh, to get to Menace. M-E-N-I-S. Uh, should be a good time tonight. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool stuff like cool t-shirt, yeah. cool phone case, cool throw pillow, cool bath mat, uh, the link is down below. Uh, if you are interested in coming on the show, Saturday is an open one shot. Hit us up at M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. We will get you on there. Uh, it's an urban intrigue scenario, just like our BTR was uh, discussed this Tuesday. Uh, if you're in the market for some new math rocks and who isn't, run on over to Twitter and hit up at Pirate Dog Dice. They are currently a little bit behind, but uh, see if they got the time, the energy, or the drive to go ahead and set that up for you. Get yourself some cool. Uh, customized dice. And if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like success, uh, try some Adventure Sense by oddfishgames.com. They have over 60 cents, most of which are quite pleasant. Some of them are horrific by design. Uh, ask Kyle about that. Uh, oddfishgames.com also makes something called the Shine System. So if you want to be a writer, just like uh, myself or, I don't know, uh, God, uh, yeah. you know, only nice. better. Uh, go ahead and check out their shine system. <laughs> Folks, uh, this is the Cacophony episode. Uh, our two players are ready to go after uh, a, a brief hiatus. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce you to them. We'll start with David. David, who are you and who do you play? Hi, I'm David. Uh, if you've watched us in the past, yeah, you know me from our Calamity campaign, both A-side and B-side. And uh, yeah, even though I've been MIA for quite a bit, and uh, yeah, I'm usually on uh, between the roles our Iron DM thing. So we got the Socium project going on. So uh, that's been been exciting. That's <coughs> something that we're doing. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, how's I'm, your audio? My audio? Yeah, I, I'm I'm using the wrong one. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Keep going, David. <laughs> okay. You can follow me in the Twitterverse as d and uh, Yeah, sometimes I post something interesting there. Usually it's just follows and retweets and things like that, and anything d and related. So, but uh, tonight I'm playing Zadar. So this is our soap opera. So our changeling rogue wizard, blade singer now. So we leveled up. So there yeah. you go uh that is david hopefully you guys can hear me right yeah yeah okay I can hear it. yeah i had to switch microphones uh next up carrie carrie same question different answers i'm carrie i usually play camille a necromancer halfling who likes cheese and coffee and i think yeah last time uh i did turn on my microphone but it was set on the wrong one like today, it was set on default. I tell my, I blame it on my husband. <laughs> anyway. Well, I, actually, I did double check that. So it must have changed at some point. Anyway, um, and I also play on Calamity the B-side and fill in here and there whenever I'm needed. Because, you know, why not? Yeah. Convenient. Convenient. But tonight your audio is good, right? As far as I can tell, yes. Okay, well. Yeah, you can see the little bar. Uh, folks, uh, these guys spent a long time in Nathan, the gnomish capital, trying to learn all about time travel. In the middle of that, they also, oh, I don't know, uh, saved the <laughs> city from rogue robot guards, uh, killed a couple of people, found a tasty new treat called a sandwich. Uh, from invented by the Earl of Hoagie. Uh, they had some land grab opportunities. Uh, yeah, they, did. they did a lot of things. Uh, but the end game here is uh, Mortimer J. Sneed escaped from the Grand Academy, uh, ended up in Nathan, unbeknownst to these two until midway through their trip. 
uh they've got to find him because he is banana lands uh from his time travel sickness uh see also zadar uh he got out of Nathan on the literal last airship available and headed into the wastes according to uh, a gnome close to them uh he is probably headed towards katang which Dang. If you, <laughs> it just makes me want to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How, how's the map look on the screen? It looks it good. Looks good. Okay, so these guys are over here in Nathian, uh, mm-hmm. and they are headed to Menace uh, because they do not want to cross uh, the lands of the Hill Giants for pretty obvious reasons. They're going to try and get to Katang, uh, but they have been told the Pasha of Menace uh, has some kind of flying device which since mortimer jason he took off on a balloon they need to get their ass to menace they've been told it's going to take a week they purchased uh essentially an arabian steed for zadar Mm -hmm. and they also picked up a ostrich chocobo for camille uh both of these animals should be worthy of the travel uh they've also picked up a week's worth of food and water so they're in good shape there uh they waited out the night so that they could go ahead excuse me waited out the night so they could be fresh as a daisy as ninth levels uh unfortunately they've already been to this day and they realize uh it is monsoon season uh here on the coastline and today was going to be exceptionally horrible uh because Time travel. They've already been here on this day. Uh, so as we begin the day, yes, it is pouring fucking rain. Of uh, course. <laughs> outside uh, your um, door, you can hear the screamers uh, because you have hired them to go ahead and find an expert on time travel. They are in the process of setting up a tent slash booth just outside of your domicile that you've been renting for a month uh and you guys need to get to the far end of town uh hopefully without incident get your mounts and get the frick out of dodge and begin your journey uh let's start off with a constitution roll by zadar so i thought we were past this point we were we're now the day after the day after tomorrow so it's we sure are okay and we maybe so if we, you would have stopped talking to yourself so much <laughs> <laughs> that's it okay you said a constitution at uh, minus one check. okay minus one so uh let's see all right uh that's gonna be a big whopping um let's see minus one 17. uh you don't know what you had maybe it was a flu bug maybe it was some kind of uh, food poisoning i bet you feel a little bit better today <clears throat> still still slightly fluish if you will uh mm-hmm. but outside you look out your door there's the gnomes busy setting up the tent uh you guys need to check out and get to the far side of town and get on your way uh, do you guys want to check out or just say fuck it and leave it as is? Uh, mm. Well, I leave enough money in the room. <clears throat> nice. Consuela will be happy. Yeah, yeah. Got a tip to help. So, uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, yeah, we'll try to, I guess, uh, Camille will just make our exit, you know, kind of serotypishly or whatever. I mean, I, I don't know what we're going to face today, so... Well, you know, we gotta get the hell out of I here. Mean, we're not gonna stiff what's her face on the bill, are we? No, no, okay. of course not. Of course not. So. Uh, Mrs. D's nuts. Right. Mm-hmm. Your former mentor's mother. Uh, right. Okay, so you go down to the office. There is uh, Ms. Ms. D's nuts and her faithful well, war, war crafted creature. Uh, she asks if you're headed back to Cacophony. Uh, well, we, we've got to head out and search for our friend, um, so probably not right away. Well, are you headed back there at some point in time? Oh, yes. Pretty much. Uh, she hands odd even. 
odd Camille uh, a letter and asks you if you can give it to her son. She misses him horribly. I tuck it into my bosom. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I hope it will be safe there. It will. Uh, she accepts your payment, wishes you best of luck, uh, and apologizes for the weather. It is coming down in fucking buckets. Mm. Yeah. Uh, perception check. All right. Let's see. Uh, seven. Uh, twelve. Uh, what do you guys want to do? <sighs> I guess take the most direct route to get where we need to go. <clears throat> Fair what? enough. Uh, as you do, uh, Zadar, you notice a female that you guys recognize coming into the little plaza area. Uh, that's what it happened to be i can't remember her name <laughs> uh, this is her jar yes yes okay. okay awesome all right we try to scurry away from her yeah we try she, to... she's, she's looking around like she's lost oh this is where it's getting confusing because it's just like okay we've lived this before so we got to go <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get out of here. We're messing up. We're messing up the continuity. We gotta go. Oh, you've done messed up the continuity. All right. Uh, okay, you head on off. Uh, mm -hmm. You take the most direct route. Both of you roll a d twenty. Okay. Oh, uh, nine. Fourteen. Uh, neither of you are bothered on your way out of town. You make it all the way across town without incident, but you are soaked to the gills uh you reach i believe his name was andy uh and he has your mounts prepped and ready to go there is five days of food and water uh i'm sorry there's three days of food and water on the chocobo there are i'm sorry two days on the chocobo three days on the arabian steed because the arabian can carry more uh you guys did not pick up an extra mount because this is simply uh, vehicles for you guys. It's not pack animals. Uh, he's already soaked to the gills. He's been up for several hours, and he says, doesn't look like it's going to get any nicer, but at least you're getting out. Well, I say I thank him for his trouble. Pay him, give him a tip. Yeah, definitely going to tip him. <laughs> chocobo on the neck and make nice to it and offer it a treat. Now, keep in mind, uh, these were expensive mounts, and mm -hmm. it was going to hurt. So uh, you guys load up. The Chocobo is the same as it was yesterday. Uh, likes you, has no problem with you, enjoys the treat. You guys are ready to go. <clears throat> uh, the Arabian can move faster, but not as long. The Chocobo can move much longer distances, but at a slower pace. Uh, so I assume you guys are going to try and find the middle ground. Yeah. Stuff. Well, we'll we'll <laughs> keep pace. So and I'll ah. set it at a at a cuff, uh, comfortable cruising speed. <laughs> Very nice. Out of there. Uh, Andy points to the high mountain peaks uh, off to the northeast and says, "You skirt around that, and it is a straight line to Menace. Uh, you can't miss it." And I thank him. And no uh, other like distinguishing environmental features that we need to look out for in case we get off track uh well if you found the oasis you are too low okay. <laughs> too low okay. too low too far south okay all right so you guys head on out uh mm -hmm. the rain is just fucking pouring uh, it's creating kind of a difficult terrain. Uh, D12, who wants to D12 against me? I will. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Twelve. Uh, you're going to lose some time today. Okay. Uh, so uh, it would behoove you 
to not dawdle on the okay. way to menace uh, because you do have a finite amount of supplies uh you guys head on off uh you head northeast of the city somebody give me a d4 roll please d4 uh, <coughs> uh three Three hours into your journey, uh, the rain starts to drizzle off. Uh, and you notice that the terrain changes from, eh, you know, uh, the hard packed dirt that it was into uh, not total sand, but a lot looser uh, medium. Uh, and you're pretty sure that you started to reach the outskirts, uh, which is a bonus uh as you do so uh the sun comes out and it starts to heat up a lot uh really fast the clouds seem to be traveling north uh and you guys are exiting the storm front mm -hmm. uh who gave me the last d4 uh david did. Did. okay yeah. camille mm -hmm. d4 mm -hmm. Speaking of which, <laughs> it would be four. Took me if I changed my name. Yep. Uh, four hours into it, you've a uh, seven-hour journey. Uh, you're you're definitely in sandy terrain. You've been going kind of downward slant. Uh, you were up on the highlands uh, before, mm -hmm. but now you're going on uh, the slant. Uh, the landscape has certainly changed features. Um, you can uh pick up this is a much more arid area it's a lot drier uh there's a lot of rocks uh seemingly having tumbled from the mountains themselves a lot of large boulders a lot of strange things each of you give me a perception check 14. 29. Uh, you, you guys notice a lot of reptilian creatures, a lot of serpents, snakes, mm -hmm. snakes, scorpions, um, uh, gila monsters, things like that. Uh, none of these are abnormally sized, uh, but these seem to be indigenous creatures to the region, uh, which, you know, this is what you got to look forward to for the next five or so days. Uh, <clears throat> as you continue on, who wants to do the first Lost Roll? Lost Roll? Like the show Lost? Like, oh fuck, we made oh, fuck. turn We're it out of a curtsy. Right. Uh, okay, and is, is this straight up or any modifiers? Or straight any? up D20. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. 12. Cool. <laughs> okay uh you guys are headed out uh you notice that uh it stays lighter here <laughs> yeah so if you want you can probably go uh, uh eight hours that would put you at a normal distance if you okay. want to try and make up some time uh you can go that ninth hour um, what do you think or, or or just make camp it doesn't matter no I'm, i don't want to exhaust the horse or in the chocobo so we'll 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 go eight hours and then set up camp. Call it a day. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, you go, you finish off uh, the travel. Still pretty light out. Uh, daylight savings time has kicked in. Uh, <laughs> nice. Give me a uh, survival check, Camille. Uh, six. And a D6. Six. Very good. Uh, you guys make camp. <clears throat> you feed the animals. Uh, you get the food off. Uh, it's camp and food. So give me constitution checks. See how you like it. Uh, nine. <laughs> Oh, um, I think Sadar liked it. <laughs> Rolled to yeah. twenty. So. Yeah, Sadar likes it. Camille, it's uh, yeah. it's camping food. Yeah. So, so can uh, I use my little 
magical hut sanctum to put everybody in. Yep. So yeah, that way we don't have to. Big. Huh? The horse isn't that big, so yeah, you can okay. do that. Because I want to save everybody from getting zapped by a scorpion at night. Sure. No, yeah. that, that sure. makes perfectly <laughs> good sense. Uh, you call for your, what is that? Uh, it, mar- it's not Marvelous Hut. Warden Canaan's private sanctum. There you go. Uh, mm-hmm. You throw it up there, you get the animals in. Uh, everything is groovy. Uh, I assume you guys are just going to sleep since nobody can come in without your permission. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll definitely make use of that. Hey, at least we don't have the noise at the end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. Uh, the the newlyweds are not around. Uh, so good news. Uh, your first night on the trail ends uneventfully. Uh, you've made what you go ahead and give me insight checks, both of you. Okay. <clears throat> 17 uh 18 yeah uh you guys think you've you've made pretty good time you do realize that there was that initial loss uh but you don't think it's going to carve into your time too bad you're pretty sure you're on the right trail uh so you're fine you haven't seen anybody there are no road markers no asphalt road no uh stone ribbon floating around uh Mm -hmm. but but you think you're in pretty good shape uh, so you've made it to the far side of. Uh, 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 you've made it to the far side of the mountain, right here by the D. Okay. So you, you guys, you guys have had a pretty good time, or maybe even the end. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell here. Um, so you guys, you guys feel that you've made a good time. Uh, so start the next day. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, press, press on. Press on. <laughs> Roll initiative. Oh, oh god damn it. <laughs> Something was waiting for us, huh? There was. Oh, man. Okay. In- initiative. Initiative. All right. Let's... Did you say 14 or 15? 15. Gotcha. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Uh, sorry, using a new interface with uh, D and D Beyond. Uh, Twenty-three for initiative. Okay, uh, Zadar, you're first. Are you going out? Or are you taking your mount out first? How you doing? Uh, Zadar will uh, head out first, skip it before he takes anything out. So. Fair enough. Give me uh, investigation check. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Investigation, you say? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-mm. All right, 22. Uh, something doesn't look right. Rocks okay. are moved or something Something is out of whack. Uh, then you see a little bit of movement underneath the sand right in front of the doorway. Like how right in front? <laughs> like about five feet out in front. Okay. Uh, it seems to be like, like there are tracks or uh, kind of waves or, or something. It's It's like... Something maybe sauntered by or somehow left some tracks here. Like a snake? Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than a snake. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, or, or it's a really big snake. Okay. <laughs> that is not good at all. Okay. So Zadar uh, takes out, and I'm going back to the redhead Jessica Rabbit form and all that because sure. that's been working for sure. Zadar. So. Uh, I'll pull out both scimitars because uh, I'm leery of it, and I start doing the the blade singing and all that, and uh, that's going to cause my AC to shoot up mm-hmm. uh, four points. So uh, Zadar's AC uh, is usually 17, so now it is um, 21, 21 mm-hmm. and I've got a plus four uh, for a concentration, the whole concentration while okay. I'm doing this. So, all right. And so, are, are you, are you going to tell Camille to get yeah, back? Okay. Yeah. And then I take one foot out of the sanctum and, um, you know, cautiously just, uh, since, since I've activated the, the, the blade singing, I'll, uh, I guess, uh, at least venture forth. <laughs> so, sure. 
no, not a problem. Uh, you step out, the ground's solid beneath your feet. Uh, just doesn't feel right. Uh, mm -hmm. You tell Camille, hang back. Do you want Camille to hang on to your mount or have your mount come out with you? Uh, hold on to the, the mount. So, Camille, do you want to hang on to the mount or slap it on the ass and let it run? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll keep all the mounts on, on the inside and make sure they're loaded up to, and ready to go. Sure. 17. Ooh, 17 plus 5, 22. Ooh, Something man. Something comes up out of the sand uh, like octopus tentacles. And immediately starts to reach around your legs. Oh shit! I'm gonna need first off uh, the little spiny barbs. One murder hobo uh, cause uh, eight plus three, eleven hit points of damage. And they wrap these tentacles wrap around your leg. Give me a DC thirteen versus grapple. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's the strength modifier for to break the grapple. Correct. Right. Okay. Roll. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Fifteen plus sixteen. Fair enough. You uh, jerk your foot out. Uh, since you were holding your action, I'll go ahead and let you attack. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, <laughs> with the cantrip uh, green flame blade. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a, a strike with the scimitar. Mm -hmm. Make sure I get to the right screen. Okay. 12 is all you need to hit this thing. Okay. And, uh, okay, 19 plus 9, 20, mm -hmm. uh, 28 to hit. And it is a whopping 11 points slashing damage. And I don't think I have multi-attack, so I just... Um, just uh, at 11. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Camille, did you want to do anything since you held your. Oh, action? I'm sorry. Forgot the fire damage on top of that for the green flame. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to. Okay. <laughs> this is a sandy creature that burrows underneath the hot sands. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Camille, did you want to do anything or just hang on to the mounts for right now? Um,. Do I see what's going on? Oh, no, yeah. You saw the tentacles come up and try and grab his leg. Okay. So I will uh, try to hit it with Witch Bolt. Sure. That's where that plus nine comes into play. <laughs> well, I got a 14, so. Yep, you hit. And that's one. Dance, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's my 12? Got some fancy footwork there. Eight. Eight damage, nineteen. New round. Start with Zadar. Zadar. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. All right. So, uh, yeah. So, did it drop back down under the sand? No. Nope. Okay. It's here to stay. It's hungry. It's got to get it's... breakfast. Breakfast yeah. is the most important meal for a dust digger. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure it is. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, another scimitar attack. Um, uh, 25 to hit. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> uh, 7 uh, for the um, slashing damage. And uh, let's see, I got to roll a d8 uh, for the flame. Uh, 6 points of uh, fire damage. Okay. Uh, Camille, you're up next. The animals are not happy at all this shit going on. So start with an animal handling roll and then do whatever you want to do. Uh, animal handling 21. Yep. You've got them calm. What are you going to do? Uh, so Zadar is, is it, he, Zadar is still entangled with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but it's not holding them yet. So I will do magic missile. Sure. And just uh, gonna cast it at first level for three. Yeah. One sure. d four cool. plus one. Where'd my four go? There it is. 
So I've got three, four, and four. Uh, 11 plus three is 14. Nice, you guys are chipping away at it, but it's its turn. Uh, no, that's a six. So 11 does not hit Zadar. Round three begins, Zadar, you're up. Okay, Zadar continuing the dance, uh, uh, using his um, uh, scimitars as focus, will fire uh, fire bolts at the, at the creature. Don't you have to have your hands free to do that? Uh, I thought they become my focus or something like that with the blade singing or something like that. Wow. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Um, sure, go ahead and cast Firebolt. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Plus eight to hit. Uh, seven does 17 to hit. Hit, hit it. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh. th that's... Uh, <laughs> it's 10 points fire damage okay camille you're up okay i will do i will use my crossbow mm -hmm. uh, i got a 15 yep and uh 1d8 plus 3 Ten. Ooh, big hit. Not enough to kill it. Uh, nine plus five, 14 against Zadar. That is another miss. Uh, Zadar, round four. Okay. Uh, again, another uh, scimitar uh, slash. And that's going to be... Um, uh, 24 to hit. Yep. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, 11 points slashing and four points fire. A loud squeal is heard as Zadar cuts through the remaining tentacles. They flop around on the top layer of the sand like a chicken with his head cut off <laughs> and then come to a rest. Uh, it's early on in the morning. It's already hot. <laughs> uh, is it our constitution check? Okay. Duh. At minus one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Constitution. Duh, duh, duh. All right. Um, 12, 11. <laughs> yeah. All your, all your rolls today are going to be at minus one. Is that squeezy stomach thingy? Uh, it's starting to bother you again. Uh, everybody roll for constitution now to see how you're going to deal with the heat. Okay. Um, Power minus one on the roll. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, 18. I rolled a 19. So. 20. You guys are not going to be affected by the heat today due to the nice non-breeze i guess el nino, uh, nino whatever uh <laughs> yeah zadar makes a hijab and all that out of a, a scarf uh to keep it and uh she'll help camille with one too to kind of zadar you've got the mornings uh give mm -hmm. me uh oh what were we doing uh give me the d4 the d4 uh Wow. Okay. Consistency three. <laughs> uh, it's about 11 o'clock. Uh, you should start to notice weird small funnels, like foot, foot and a half size funnels. Uh, and they're just drizzling across the landscape. Uh, the horse, well, let's see. Odd even. Odd. The horse does not really seem to like these. Uh, it is possible to skirt mm -hmm. left or right around them, uh, hoping that they will not, hoping that they are not sentient creatures and uh, you can maybe avoid them. I hope so. Or, or, <laughs> yeah. or you can go straight through and tell the horse to go fuck itself. No, no. Oh, no. I'm never going to tell Miss Scarlet that. <laughs> it is a red horse. So yep. uh, do you want to go try and skirt it to the left or skirt to the right? 
Uh, let's go to left. Hang a left around it. D12 against me. Okay. 12 again. God damn it. Three. <laughs> Give me a D6, Zadar. Uh, all right. Uh, four. Four of these little funnel creatures are headed your way. Uh, uh, if you stay they're in mounted, formation. <laughs> if you stay mounted, you will fight at disadvantage. Yeah. If you get off, you run the risk of your mounts freaking out. Uh, oh, shit. It is okay. 11 o'clock in the day. It's hot. It's not seeming to affect you. Roll initiative. Uh, uh, all right. So, um, are you going to hop those... off and give me the reins? Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, <laughs> take care of Miss Scarlet. So, uh, initiatives six. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mm. uh, 13. Not good enough. The dust methods charge forward two on each of you. I'm going yeah. to make I'm going to make attacks. I'm gonna roll a D4. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna roll a D6. One through okay. five. It's coming at you guys. Six going after your mounts. So I will start with uh Camille. First roll is a three, so it's going to try and attack you, Camille. Oh, big number, 18 plus, uh, nice. 22. I think that's going to be a hit. Yeah. The second one that comes after you is a murder hobo. That means uh, ch chocobo. With a natural one, it is going to horribly miss the chocobo. Uh, damage to you, however, is 2d4. Four and one. Uh, five plus two is seven. You get raked across the arm with these little spiny uh, appendages. Zadar, five coming after you. Okay. Uh, four, not going to do it. Second one, three coming after you. Fifteen plus four, nineteen. Um. This is new. I don't know how long the I the well, it's been three hours. Oh yeah, yeah. The channel's off. So what are 17. these things? Dust methods. I don't know what uh, that means. They're like little flying gob dust goblins. So. Uh three plus two damage five on Zadar. Okay. Uh Camille, you are still mounted. Mm -hmm. uh, it has tried to attack your chocobo. What would you like to do? You each have two on you. Mm -hmm. Um, I can. And, and it is possible for you to spur your mounts forward and try and trample one of them. They will not get both of them, but they may get one of them. Does web work on them? Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you do not know. Ah, fuck it. Cast web on there. them. Okay. Uh, how many are you going to try and snare? Well, I don't know where everybody's at. I assume that I've got two I, in I, front of me. I assume you're next to each other, so there's a line of four here. I mean, if I can get all of them, I will. Give me an intelligence check. Uh, uh, On the left. Yeah, I'm looking. Plus four or five, I think. Yeah. I think it's five because you've got a 20 intelligence. 12. Uh, you don't see any anchor points for your web. So essentially, it's like throwing a blanket over it. You aren't sure if that's going to work or not. Well, you can try. We'll give it a shot. Sure. Uh, you cast web. Uh, the sticky sinew drops out of the sky, lands on them, and the dust methods go right up through the gaps. Hey, Zadar, oh, you're up. Okay. Uh, Zadar is going to cast Magic Missile. Uh, okay. So three darts. So I'll target three of them. 
Okay. Okay, so uh, the first start hits for a whopping three. Uh, and you're second... targeting three different methods, correct? Right. Okay. Uh, the second it hits for two. And third hits for four. Cool beans. Uh, animal handling checks both of you. Mm -mm. Fourteen. Um, under wraps. Uh, twelve for Zadar for animal handling. Your mount is exceptionally skittish, and you are having a hard time controlling it. Any attack at this point in time in melee is. But I have its range. Two. No, you guys are. You guys are just traveling across. This is the middle of the day. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, you, you guys are on the road again. So, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, new round. Okay. Camille. Five. You. Uh, Ten plus five, fifteen. Two. Hit. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, two. It's you again. Ooh, five plus five is ten. That ain't going to be it. Uh, four plus two, six damage to you. Zadar, oh. th three, you. Uh, 13 plus five is 18. Uh, 18 hits. One, you. Uh, eight plus five is 13. That will not hit. Uh, <laughs> Fours, 10 damage uh, as these little claw monsters fuck you up for 10 hit points damage. Uh, Camille, you're up. Your mount is uh, perfectly stable. It's fucking yawning. Doesn't give it two shits. Uh, it has giant claws, though. So. so we still have all these things after us? Oh, yeah. They've blocked your way. How fast do they move? You have no idea. I turn to Sadar and I say, should we just try to run? Hiya! Can I cast Expeditious Retreat on our animals? And all that? That, that increases their speed by 10 feet. Uh, <laughs> I, I am unfamiliar with it, so let me look it up. Okay. Uh, let's see. Expeditious retreat, concentration, mm -hmm. 10 minutes. It looks like only you can take the dash action. Oh, okay. Well, damn. So it. I, well, that's I, I was, fine, but my, because my, my thing can go pretty quickly, right? Uh, yeah. Yours can go pretty quickly for a long period of time. His can haul the mail. Right. So let's just both go uh, okay and agree to <laughs> stay within the <this> light <laughs> yeah sure i yeah. will take uh, one attack of opportunity against each of you so on camille four you uh 13 plus five is 18 18 hits no uh camille oh yeah uh zadar five you uh seven single digits so 12 does not hit, correct? No, it does not hit. Camille, you take one and three, four plus two is six damage. You guys haul the mail. Who wants to D12 against me to see if you can outrun these little bastards? I'll let David go. Oh, okay. My not first nine, 12 of the night. Oh God, five. Two. <sighs> Uh, you guys leave these fuckers in the dust. Give me a D4, Zadar. Okay. I keep hearing that song from the 50s, beep, beep, you know, <laughs> with the little Nash Rambler. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Okay, one. Okay, fair enough. You guys are hauling the mail. You can see them trying to chase you. 
they're moving pretty fast, but after two rounds, fuck it, they're tired. Uh, you Thank guys God. Go, <laughs> you guys go at full speed. Zadar's mount will go faster than the Chocobo. Uh, so what did you call her? Red what? Scarlet. 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 Uh, Scarlet out distance. Uh, you can slow down and wait for Camille. Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, you guys managed to get away at this time. Uh, so good news. Kudos for you. You have escaped minor elementals. Uh, Camille, D4. Four. Four hours later, again, seven hours into it, uh, you guys yes. see something on the horizon. Oh. Uh, it's stationary. It looks like... Don't say trees. Uh, no, it's not trees. You're in the desert. Right. I remember, Oasis is too low. <laughs> yeah. Uh, give me an insight check. Okay. Okay. Nineteen. Ooh, eight. Uh, you can't make it out, Zadar. Uh, Camille, you're a necromancer. Them be fucking bones up ahead. Ooh. Big, big bones. Like elephant bones? Yeah, maybe. Maybe something that big. Do uh, you guys want to continue to head towards it or uh, just avoid it? Uh, uh, um... Is it on our way? It's directly ahead of you. Give me a survival check. Uh, 14. Yeah. yeah, it's directly ahead of you. There's just something to miss here. Mm -mm. I inform Zadar of my concerns. Yeah, I, I say we avoid it. So, okay. Zadar, having been told that she has some concerns, give me a survival check. Okay. Survival. <clears throat> All right, uh, fifteen on the survival check. You are in agreement. Something just does not look right. Uh, you want to travel the full eight hours or try and extend it? Uh, so how far behind are we at this point? Behind what? Time-wise. You were at the seven mark. No, I meant like for We're days. not losing time. Day two, seven hours in. Okay. Your projected time period was five days right. and change. Okay. Uh, what do you think, Zadar? Uh, what, no, how much daylight do we have left? You probably got an hour or two. Uh, no, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll break. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll set okay. it. You want to take that hour and get to eight? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you okay. guys tr travel, uh, you know, it's a peaceful night. Not too bad. Uh, the weather, uh, not bad at all. Uh, feels like it's getting a little chilly because it is desert. Uh, mm -hmm. As you set up camp, uh, not a cloud in the sky. Beautiful stars. I mean, it's actually really a gorgeous night. Um, and you notice that it's almost a full moon. So you get a pretty good idea of the nothingness that surrounds you. Uh, I assume that you're going to feed the animals and set up the camp again? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, give me an insight check, both of you. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, Three. Oh. <laughs> God, my insight is, yeah, seven. Not good. Yeah, you guys are taking care of your animals. You're telling them that they're very good boys and girls. Uh, you get camp set up um, and head in and call it a fucking night. Uh, 
Who wants the D12 against me? David. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, damn it. All right. Um, 12. Uh, night passes uneventfully. Day two comes to a complete close. Uh, you guys wake up. Day three, uh, sun's already out. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's going to be fucking hot. It's uh, scorcher. <laughs> so, uh, David, give me your constitution at minus one. Uh, that again, huh? Uh, la, la. Uh, 15 minus right. 114. So. Very good. Uh, everybody give me an insight check. Okay. 13. Um, insight. All right. Wow. My insight lows are, uh, rolls of low four. Okay. Uh, looks like we're going forward. Uh, you guys notice that the terrain is pretty much staying the same. Uh, Nothing to see here. The bones are an hour behind you. Not that big a deal. Uh, Zadar, we'll start with you. Give me that D4. Let's see how far you go. Okay. Uh, the, the four. There. Four hours. <clears throat> you guys uh, make it to lunch. Uh, it's hot. Everybody give me a constitution check. Okay. Uh, 11. Uh, 19 plus 2, 21. Uh, minus 1, so 20. Neil's going to suffer a little bit of mild heat stroke. Uh oh. For two, for two hit points of damage. Oh, no. Uh, you guys notice, uh, your mounts are not happy. Okay. At, at noon. Uh, not happy at all. Uh, after traveling that fourth hour, mm -hmm. uh, they, they just keep getting worse. And now you know why. You guys uh, both give me an insight check. Uh, you got a 15 plus. Okay. Insight. Huh? Uh, uh, wow. I rolled a one. Fair enough. You do not feel jack shit, Zadar, uh, but Camille points out to you, do you feel that rumbling? No. <laughs> uh, your mount, uh, Scarlet, is not happy. Prout, prancing back and forth. You're going to need to make an animal handling. Okay. Uh, with the animal handling, I... Uh, 14. Okay, uh, it, it's taking everything you have to keep that goddamn mount under control. Uh, okay. Give me a D8 roll, please. A D8, okay. Uh, <laughs> but damn it, it's you, Frank, so I don't know if an eight is good. <laughs> About 80 feet away, the ground just explodes. I mean, fucking explodes. And what appears to be a giant lavender worm uh, geez. just fucking goes up like a whale and down again. As you see this, both mounts are freaking out because this yeah. thing is a good football field in width. Uh, and it is heading north to south. Uh, give me perception checks, both of you. Okay. Uh, it doesn't appear to have noticed us, has it? We'll see. 10. Okay. Uh, natural 20 plus 10, 30. Uh, you could tell that as you look to the left, uh, its tail now submerges below the sand. So the serpentine reaction is fairly consistent, uh, but it is leaving giant holes in the desert. Uh, Camille, D12 against me. Four. Uh, 
four. Uh, it does not notice you. This thing continues on. Just ooh, ooh. Uh, would you like to <laughs> nice? It's like uh, a Beetlejuice, <laughs> the the giant, uh, you know, the striped serpent and all that, and Beetlejuice mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to attack it? No. Fuck no. <laughs> Are you sure? Come on, man. This is a rackus. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm not going to attack that thing. <laughs> it's only like challenge rating 22 or something. Yeah. <laughs> It's worth 13,000 experience points. You guys can be level 10 by the time. Fuck off. <laughs> I think it only has like 300 hit points. Mm -hmm. Should be easy. Oh, yeah, piece of cake. <laughs> you know, you can you can cut Camille out of his gullet after it gets her. I just pat uh, my chocobo and tell Miss Scarlet, it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, Zadar, one more roll on Miss Scarlet. Okay. All right. Uh, animal handling? Yep. Or, huh? Animal handling? Okay. Um, oh, eight. She's gonna bolt. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. <laughs> D4 for me. Okay. Uh, four. <laughs> uh, it bolts. Reverse. Oh, shit. Okay. Born reverse. And uh, I, I'm fighting it. You know how when you fight a horse, it is so like. Yeah, you know, its head is pulling sideways. I'm like trying to calm calm the animal down. Give me a D6 for how many minutes it's going to take you to get it under control. Okay. Six? Yeah, all my rules are high on shit like this. Uh, Camille, your chocobo's fine. Uh, but you watch Sadar and Miss Scarlet haul the mail. Uh, and she just keeps going. I mean, there's fucking sand. She's going full tilt uh, off into the distance. Uh, give me a perception wow. check. Uh, 12. Uh, she seems to be slowing down, or Zadar seems to be getting the better of her. Uh, she's run almost for 10 minutes. Uh, but finally, that little speck that was Zadar... Uh, did you want to chase after him or just wait on him? I'm just waiting on him. Give me a perception check. Fifteen. At, at one of the holes, one of the exit holes, you, you notice a, a big-ass fucking brick. A brick? Yeah, it looks like a brick. Okay. Like a, like a rectangular rock. Like it's been shaped or carved. Okay. Uh, you, you, you also notice that Zadar has finally gotten his mount under control. Animal handling again, Zadar. Okay. I'm assuming Zadar has it under control. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you need to carry carrots and mints with you. I am. Yeah. So, yeah. so you, you get it under control and you start to come back. It's frothy because it's hot. Uh, mm -hmm. So you know that you just can't gallop back. So it's going to take right. you a, a, another six, seven, eight minutes uh, just to get back to where you're at. You see the little speck that is Camille. Mm -hmm. uh, Camille, uh, it's hot. And remember, you took two hit points of heat stroke. Um, and you got this fucking brick out in the middle of nowhere. And this is right? four hours in? Mm -hmm. High noon. I just hear the Clint Eastwood music in the back. <laughs> I say I throw up our sanctum and we take a short rest. I, yeah, I'll I'll agree to that. Uh, now you can only do that once a day, though, right? I what think level so. spell is that? Our uh, spell slot, I think. It's a but... four. So you got three of those so, or no, you got two of those but if i cast it like the night before and then the next day how does mm -hmm. that work it stays up for eight hours so you guys will wander on off and this thing will be like a pizza hut or something <laughs> It'll be, a, it'll be a blockbuster so i won't be able to use it. <laughs> i won't be able to use it again correct okay. now you can 
you can just hang out and take a short rest. I mean, the sun's beating down on you already. All right, let's do yeah. that. Yeah, I'll uh, Z- that. Zadar, you arrive, and she is off the chocobo. Uh, mm. It was, you know, just kind of hanging out. Give me a perception check. Oh, okay. Because uh, chocobos rule. They do rule. <laughs> uh, and they lay eggs you could make omelets out of. That's true. Except you got a dude. Aww. 14. 14, uh, you also see the block. Okay. I'm a, what's up with the brick? I'm like, dude, I was waiting on you. This thing appeared, and I was like, I'm not fucking with this on my own, so. Right. Do we avoid it? Do we just keep going? I say we keep going. Okay. Now, I'll, I'll follow your lead on this. If you want to keep going, we'll keep going. Uh, you take your short rest you gain back mm-hmm. your two hit points of heat stroke uh you have not been injured as of yet you will bypass the giant hole with the weird brick i assume yes <clears throat> and move off uh give me a survival check camille well that doesn't sound promising Okay, there's something off in the distance. Uh, give me a D4. Two. Uh, two hours into it, you, you finally come up on it. Um, palm trees? Ah, uh, god damn uh, it. God damn it. We're, we're south. <laughs> you are not south. You are north. Oh, okay. Way north. Ah. Um, Okay. Uh, Or, uh, this is a hallucination. Mm. But it's two hours in. uh, You can continue and bypass whatever the hell this is. Or or you can stop to investigate. I mean, if it is an oasis, I mean, we can... Water the horses? I guess. Uh, the, the mounts, sorry. I guess we investigate. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, judging how how much time is this going to take to reach? You don't know. It, okay. it, uh, oh, to reach? You're already there. It's oh, two okay. o'clock. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so you guys have tried. She saw it at noon. Mm-hmm. You guys have arrived at 2 o'clock. It's Vegas, Miles. Uh, as okay. you get there, you notice that the trees that she saw are sitting on an upper tier, and there's a slight depression or rift here. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is water, uh, and okay. there's a tent. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'll, we'll cautiously approach. I call uh, I, out, you do. Yeah. You see a group of six oh. uh, humans okay. uh, wearing the hijab, uh, mm-hmm. wearing uh, loose colored robes. Uh, mm-hmm. And they look and they hail you. Uh, okay. they, they are at the bottom of this depression. You okay. guys are at the top. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the foliage around here is lush. Uh, you can actually this is see not the oasis? Not the one he told you that was south. Okay. Uh, because you guys have been veering north for a day and a half. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys are... Let me go ahead and show you where... Are we on our third day? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you guys thought you were coming straight across Andorra. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The oasis would have been in here. Okay. You are up here. Ah. Okay. All right. Not that you know that. Right. Um, but yeah, you guys are at the top part of the rift. You can actually see fucking fish in the water. Uh, six humans. Uh, and they seem to be eating the dates. Uh 
because berries and fruits are at this oasis. Uh, the depression keeps it open. Uh, but you've been hailed. Okay. Hail Satan. So, uh, <laughs> hail Satan. So I hop off my chocobo and grab its reins and saunter down to them. Sure, give me a dexterity check. Oh, come on. I know I'm short, but good lord. It's a steep drop. Uh, oh, 18. Yeah, you, you managed to find the tier levels correctly uh, and managed to get down to the other side. Uh, these uh, sultry humans uh, appear to be Bedouins. Uh, hail and well met. Uh, hail, well met. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing you, but we're trying to get to Menace. Are we anywhere close to that? Uh, you are not disturbing us, and no. <laughs> uh, Zadar, what are you doing? I uh, I'm gonna gonna approach as as well. Dexterity check. Okay. Well, he's looking like a slut. <laughs> uh, so it's still at minus one for me. So eighteen. Uh, he's going. He looks like he stumbled off a set of romancing the bone. Exactly. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, you, you guys arrive, uh, and the individual says, uh, "I am no Mark Hybus. Uh, who might you be?" Uh, I'm Camille, and this is Zadar. Or, what do you call yourself? Zadar. Zadar. I'm. Even as a female. Oh, as a female, uh, I've always just been. Sadar, okay. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't really created an That's alias. Fine. So, uh, give me an Arcana check, both of you. Okay. Hmm. Uh, fourteen. Uh. Crap. Oh my! Really? Uh. It's intelligence based, so like plus five or something. Mm -hmm. Well, I got plus nine. Oh, there you go. Uh, so twelve. What you do? Roll a three? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you guys don't know shit about this guy. Uh, you you do notice that the other five individuals uh, seem to be at his beck and call like he's kind of boss dude or something uh he asks if you are hungry he would love to to share the wealth of uh the land with you uh interested in why you're going to menace and what is your purpose okay so we'll we'll tail him the tale <laughs> of uh that we're uh from the tale of uh What's his name? I don't know. You got me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Mortimer J. Sneed. Mortimer J. That's, Sneed. That's the tale it. of Mortimer J. Sneed. It's like a folk tale. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll tell him we're originally from Cacophony, recently from Nathian. He doesn't know where Cacophony is. We've been you know, all over. He knows where Nathian is. Uh, mm -hmm. He points out that uh, his name, Hybus, uh, he is a nomarch, uh, meaning a regional governor. Mm. Uh, he is the regional governor of the Kellites. Uh, oh, okay. That's interesting. Uh, somebody persuade me. Uh, persuade you? Uh, I don't know if I have persuasion. I don't think I do. Okay. Um... Mm. You probably have more than I do. I do. Um, okay, 20 for persuasion. Uh, he listens to your story, okay. and he likes it. Uh, he finds it very interesting. He finds uh, it interesting that uh, you are hunting down a time traveler uh, and points out, have you ever heard the story of the Katang people? Katang! <laughs> uh I, I believe so, right? Uh, I believe we have. <laughs> the Katang, uh, back at Nathan, they kind of informed us about that, right? The gnomes know nothing 
of the true Katang people. Let me go oh. ahead and explain something oh, to you. Very good. Of course. Uh, he goes on uh, for a while. Okay. <laughs> Starts with the history and then. Quite a, quite a while, actually. Uh, he explains that the Katangian people once ruled uh, this entire area, uh, not Nathan or the mountains, uh, but they handled the Andorran wasteland. Uh, mm -hmm. And it was not always a wasteland. It was once lush and supple with vegetation. Uh, the people uh, who ruled in the Katangian dynasty uh, were rumored to be otherworldly spirits, uh, shapeshifters, and time travelers uh, because the things that they created were so potent. Uh, no one had ever seen anything like this before. Uh, the Katangians were rude individuals, even though uh, his Kellites and the other tribes uh, are descendant from them. Uh, we are the only remaining people of the original Katangians. Uh, we are not shapeshifters or time travelers. What do you mean by rude? Uh, they were overbearing and obnoxious. Oh, okay. They were self-centered and uh, uh, what's the word? narcissistic narcissistic uh they felt that they were way better than others uh and they put the screws to the people in the south the osbe the people to the east the Lushwal, and the elves of uh and how did you marokia stop being so rude the land was devastated and uh, my forefathers were brought to heal by the gods hmm. um but, um, and the power of the reed of order was lost. The reed of order? It's a magical artifact that uh, it was said to unite the tribes under the Katangian dynasty. Mm. Uh, it was lost, and uh, we have separated into the, I think it's five families. Do you know mm. where it was lost at? Probably Katang, the uh, metropolis city. Uh, of course, you know, Zadar's not going to tip their hand that uh, about shape shifting, but uh, I'll, I'll casually within the conversation ask a little more about these shape shifters. Are we talking just shifting from humanoid form or into animal or are we talking appearance both mm. okay there were two sects uh the religion of the contagion was uh quite complex sound sounds um so where was katang originally yeah uh katang was and still is to south of here over the mountains where we came from he pulls out an ancient text mm -hmm. and says we're right here okay katang is right here ah uh, okay. we haven't been there at all no no that's where mortimer's going oh okay uh, okay uh and he points out that menace <laughs> Is, is over here. Uh, <laughs> um, why is he spitting at Menace? Uh, the new Pasha there has decided that he will unite the clans uh, and currently seeks the Reed of Order. Uh, he is an arrogant, uh, I believe the gnomes call them sons of bitches. <laughs> nice. uh, and I do not care for him. Mm. Um, sounds like the quite the well, uh, I, I self absorbed individual. <laughs> I want to tell him about our quest. Sure. He's all ears. So I tell him, I say, we're supposed to go here, or do this, and go here, and blah, blah, blah. And what do you think? I've heard that the Pasha has some kind of magical device that allows rapid transit but I do not know what it is. Mm. Right, but you keep spitting when you say his name. Should 
Should we even go talk to him? He is the most powerful Pasha of the tribes. Um, Do you know another way to get from where we are to where we need to go? It'll take probably two weeks. We don't have supplies for that. No. no Most course. likely not. There's only one oasis between here and there anyway that I am aware of. You may ask the Pasha. He may deign uh, to see strangers. He may decide to absolve himself from you completely. I. We have not had a conclave in several months. Uh, but when he, at the last conclave, when he told the other uh, no marks that he had elevated himself to Pasha, mm -hmm. uh, the next logical step is uh, the leader of the Katangian dynasty, which includes all of us. Uh, we don't believe that he could pull it off. We feel that his arrogance uh, is going to be his downfall. He, he's going to need a lot of strength, a lot of skill, and a lot of abilities to even find uh, the read of order, let alone use it. Where, uh, where is the read of order rumored to be at this this point? Somewhere in Katang. Mm. Okay. But yes, this upstart, um, uh, Pasha of Menace, I, I do not like his arrogance. I just do not like his arrogance. Uh, his tribe is the same size as everybody else's. He doesn't seem to have much, many more resources than the rest of us do. Uh, we just found his statement to be arrogant and uh, full of hot air. So how did he, so he just proclaimed himself to be Pasha over this region you have no mark then you have pasha mm -hmm. and then you have emperor mm -hmm. uh i take it the, this a emperor is ferris by the way i take as judging from this person's let's just say arrogance and sounds like a person of youth we're not talking a wise person that that's kind of the impression i'm getting from you no he is an older man uh he has a, i believe a daughter or a son as a child uh the, the child is not small mm -hmm. so you uh, said ferris ferris would be emperor i thought there was somebody below pasha yeah no mark no mark oh, okay who is that? No mark. I am a no mark. Oh. The, the tribal leaders are all no marks. He has decided to take the title of Pasha, which would have been the right hand of the Ferris. The and there Ferris is no King. Ferris. There is no Ferris. There hasn't been a Ferris for several centuries. Hmm. Only with the read of order can you be Ferris. Right. Bueller. Right. Bueller. Bueller. Uh, well, this is good to know that we know uh that we're dealing with someone not of uh fair temperament <laughs> so you know uh for that information yes we're definitely grateful um our next conclave is in three months uh perhaps time will have tempered his arrogance but i do not foresee that happening mm. okay um how many people are in his group? Each of our tribes, uh, roughly 500 people. Mm. Oh, man. It's quite large. So, okay. Yes, he, he actually, we are Bedouins. Uh, we mm. wander from uh, area to area. Mm -hmm. uh, our main encampment is on the border with Marokia, uh, a day's travel to the north. Uh, he actually has a city. Uh, one of the old uh, Catanian cities was Menace. Uh, and that is where his people live. They are more uh, urban dwellers. 
uh, mm. rather than Bedouins. Uh, the other tribes, more Bedouin than wanderers. Mm. Uh, there is an encampment of the Or people uh, far to the south at, at the southern reaches. Uh, but Menace uh, was the word metropolis, uh, is it? Uh, it is built on several oases in the sand. Uh, uh, about how far away do you, would you say uh, we are from Menace at this Probably point? three, three and a half days. Three and a half days. Okay. And you've already gone three. And by the way, it started to get dark. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, he was very long. Very. Dead. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we got food. Yeah. You have, you have food here. His people will go ahead and feed you. Mm -hmm. Um, You've got water, fresh water, so okay. you can resupply. That is, that is not going to be an issue. Okay. Uh, the mayor and the chocobo uh, mm -hmm. are fine. They've drank the water. Doesn't seem to be causing them anything. What about Miss Scarlet? She's That's, the mayor. Oh, she's the mayor. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you were probably the mayor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mayor Rosworski has been exactly. Drinking water. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he, he points out that you're probably half a day three quarters of a day off the beaten track <clears throat> which worked out great by the way i wasn't sure how to move this one in there but you guys, <laughs> you, you guys botched that fucking roll so like, okay. um, great rolls <laughs> yeah. uh he will point out that uh that you can travel at night if you want um i've thought about that but i wasn't sure if there was anything out there that we should be wary of uh, there are wild things out um but it's going to be a full moon. Mm -hmm. So, what do you recommend? Traveling at night, traveling during the day. We are going to spend the night here at the oasis and then travel back north. Uh, so, if we were to travel to the tonight, what mm -hmm. should we look out for? As far as enemies, that star. Oh, enemies or dangers. The great dune traveler uh, is in the area. Uh, what is, is a, that? It is a a giant snake. Uh, is a bluish, it purple? Bluish snake. Yeah, purplish blue. Yeah, yeah, we've seen that. Uh, oh, where was it? Mm, back that way. <laughs> then it is making its uh, southern migration. Uh, it will not bother us for six months. No, oh, uh, no. Yeah. Um, the holes that they make, have you ever noticed an object remaining after they've gone through, if you've seen them before? No, but this area was once the Katangian dynasty, and there are clearly buried cities here somewhere. Well, we have okay. to tell them about the brick then. Yeah. Would he be heading in that direction like towards the brick? he is he is now oh okay I say, you got to tell him about it yeah okay. yeah we'll, we'll tell you, him about the brick and, and, and you're sure the, the what did i call it the dune rider mm, i think so <laughs> now it's that's what it's going to be called now dune rider equals purple worm <laughs> uh Yes, he carry doesn't know what that is, so I was wondering if you guys with it. Uh, I knew what it was when yeah, you said I was like, like I'm not doing oh, that. Shit. <laughs> yeah, so he, you're sure it's traveling south? Yeah, it was heading south. Yeah, we didn't want to fuck with that thing. Wise choice. It can uh, eat uh, eat that big mount hole. Um, yeah, so I will investigate it. I appreciate that. Uh, I will try and retrace your steps and figure it out. Although with the shifting winds, uh, who knows? Maybe it will be buried. But we I will think go you that will way. see it. It was very large. Uh, the shifting like winds your move penis. a lot. Nice. Uh, <laughs> he, he tells you if you want to travel, keep that star ahead of you. Okay. Uh, but if you want to remain with us, you can leave in the morning. We have enjoyed your company. We appreciate your time. I say I appreciate all of your hospitality and your information, but looking at Zadar, I think we need to make up some time. Yeah, we'll need to make the time. Sure. Uh, your mounts are 
had been resting for half a day. So that's, okay. that's not a big deal. Um, he wishes you good travel. Namaste. Uh, uh, <laughs> and hopes to see you again. And um, we, we hope to see them again, too. Um, I hope you, you get got... to fuck that Pasha up. Nice. You guys, <laughs> even though you guys are meeting with the Pasha, or that's your Yeah. Well, that's... Right. <laughs> he just seems like a nice guy. Sure. No, that's, that's fine. Uh, you guys head out. Mm. Who wants to do the survival role? David, I'll let you do that. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Come on. Come on. Uh, okay, 15. <clears throat> survival. Okay. Uh, you keep an eye on uh, Peter Pan's star mm -hmm. and uh, head out. Let me mm -hmm. make a note here. You have met Hibis. <laughs> Great guy, nice guy, super nice guy. Gave you a couple of dates and made sure that you filled up your water skins. So you got five, you got five more days uh, of shit. Uh, you guys head out. D twelve against me, Camille. Ten. Crap, four. Yeah, you guys see something. God damn it. <laughs> Gotta uh, love encounter tables. <laughs> uh, you guys see a cyclone, much larger than the ones that you faced earlier. Uh, it is drifting away from you. Okay. To the south. And we let it go. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, the sun rises up, day four. Uh... You guys want to keep going or you want to rest? Didn't we just rest? Or no, we walked all night. You, you, you walked all night. Yeah. What do you want to do, David? Um, I mean, uh, how many hours hit, did we travel overnight? Uh, overnight, about eight. About eight and all that. Yeah, we'll probably should take rest. a rest. Yes. Sure. Uh, you set up camp. Uh, I assume you get a rest for eight. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we should. Travel at night. How many days did I say it'd take you guys to get there? Five. I'm not gonna take you totally. five anymore. You're like uh, bastardo. <laughs> if you wouldn't have gotten fucking lost. That wouldn't have been a problem. We didn't get lost <laughs> that far. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Uh, day okay. 123. Day four, uh, you guys rest for eight hours, regain all your strength. Zidar, uh, it's late afternoon uh, on Ash Wednesday. Go ahead and give me a <laughs> uh, constitution roll. Oh, yeah. Love those. Chicken tikka masala. <laughs> Chicken tikka. <laughs> I watched that last night. <laughs> That's who Zadar looks like. R <laughs> uh, 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 R I P D is awesome. Uh -huh. Roll Seafers. It was a it was a popular name back then. Uh okay, so very sexy name. Constitution check. Okay. Twelve. Yeah. God. You're not okay. feeling good, minus one. Uh, oh. as you guys open it up, uh, there's a fucking guy outside your construct sitting next to a campfire. Uh, fuckers in half plate mail, too. Uh, hola, como esta? Uh, yo, muy bien. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well will greet them. Camille uh, marches out and says, what the fuck do you want? I just wanted to say hi. My name is Ricardo. Montalban. And I have, I have a 20 fucking charisma. Uh, I am traveling uh, the wastelands uh, and I seem to be a bit lost. I was wondering if you might be able to help me. I am uh, trying to get to Menace. 
What a coinky dink. Uh, what a coincidence. We are. Camille in fact, doesn't heading... trust him. Yeah. Uh, to menace. You, you trust the guy with slaves, but not the guy just sitting by his camp. Uh, <laughs> He yes, came out of nowhere. Does the does this person have a mount or anything, or it's just a guy in plate not. mail? Yeah. How the fuck did you get here? Uh, well, I used the last of my supplies last night. What supplies? My water. Uh, holds up an empty water skin. Uh, so you didn't have a horse or a chocobo, anything? Uh, my horse died. Uh, it was a giant scorpion on the trail and it did not fare well. It's about an hour that way. Mm. Mm -hmm. and, and what is your point of origin? Where were you heading from? Uh, I am from uh, Marokia. Marokia, okay. In the All north. Right. We've, we've heard of Marokia. He pulls his hair back a little bit and you see pointed elven ears. Uh, mm. Is he a high elf? He's a wood elf. Oh, okay. He's like Ernie. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm glad you're not a stuck up asshole. I hate to ask, but could you give me directions and spare some water by chance or send me in a good good location? Where do you need to go? I'm going Menace. to Menace. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah. We're going there as well. Oh. May we travel together? Yeah, I mean, there's safety in numbers, so of course. Um, and Zadar will share some water. Sure. He appreciates it. He's, he's very cordial about it. I, I appreciate that. Would you like some of my dates? Uh, we have some, actually. Oh, okay. uh, so that, that is all I have to offer you. That and stories. That okay? That's oh, okay. Tell us some stories then. Yeah. Now uh, tell us your story. Uh, he is from Headstat, uh, on the western edge, uh, in the woods. Uh, he is a simple adventurer. His parents are low-level nobles. Um, not happy uh, with his choice. Uh, he is actually a younger sibling. Uh, which is rare. Elves don't have that many kids. He has an older sister. Uh, he uh, kind of alludes, or you kind of get the opinion that he's maybe kind of an outcast uh, for choosing the adventuring life. Uh, but he's been on the road uh, two weeks now. Okay. Uh, and like you said, the, the horse bit it. Uh, Zadar's kind of Checking That's just him sad. Out. Uh, does he have any uh, religious icon, you know, icons on him or anything like that? He's all against me. Okay. Three. Six. Yeah, he's got something. Something silver. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to get a read if this is a paladin or if they, it's obviously some kind of fighting insight check yeah okay uh, let's see. insight of course god all right insight rolls are for shit tonight seven so uh no it looks like he's uh his armor's got some dings and dents in it uh it looks like uh he's seen some action but he doesn't appear to be one of those holy roller types he okay. seems more like a no speech yeah. impediment or anything like that. No, 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 no speech <laughs> impediment. Uh, Last name's not Justice Man. Huh? No, no. Doesn't, doesn't know any Justice Man. Ah, uh, that's he, so sad. He's a simple warrior. Uh, he follows you guys. You guys are going to be slowed down because he doesn't have a mount. Uh, uh, and, and he's too big. Yeah, play to be, yeah, too big for Sadar yeah. to, to carry. But now you can put Camille on your Scarlet and let him try and ride the Chocobo if he can pass the animal handling if you want. Oh let's or you try get... that. Okay. His animal handling is gonna be base. Eighteen. Hmm. He can handle uh the Chocobo. 
Uh, he points out that he's unfamiliar with these animals. Don't you hurt my Jerry. I'm, uh, I, I, I'm a lover of peace. Uh, well, um, I don't we'll care. Keep, That's my chocobo. His name is we'll Jerry. We'll keep don't the, the chocobo at pace with Scarlet, so we'll keep them tethered together as we're going. Sure. You, you know, like, yeah. Sure. Uh, give me a D4, uh, Zadar. Okay. Oh, I can pick it up. Uh, three. Uh, about an hour into it, uh, you see a horse carcass. Yeah. Oh wow! Uh, he he kind of pulls on the reins. Are we going the about. wrong way? No, no he he was he, he was going the wrong way. He got lost. Okay. Uh, right. You can tell he's kind of choked up about it. Yeah. Uh, not happy. Um, what was mm. its name? Uh, Josephus. <laughs> wow. Nice. Nice. Okay. At least I didn't call it Roycephus. Which yeah, is a sexy name and it's fine. <laughs> does, does Camille look like a Girl Scout? <laughs> right. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, but yeah, he, uh, he 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 kind of pauses, keeps going. Mm. You guys want to investigate it or just keep moving? Uh, well, I, I'll just do kind of like a passive investigation of it. Sure, um, give me a roll. I mean, he's got everything that he needed off of it, though, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. Uh, what kind of role am I rolling? Uh, insight. Insight. Oh yeah, we're. I've been doing so great with those. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, that is fourteen for the insight. Most of the guts have been torn out. Okay. All right. Um. So uh, you know, it looks like the innards have been digested by something so you know okay uh, well we'll kind of you know offer our condolences and we'll i'm sorry we'll about on. your friend sure about three hours into it uh you know you guys you guys are pushing midnight uh the moon is uh spiking high uh the chocobo and uh scarlet are antsy okay well this is not good <laughs> uh it, it the nice thing is the moon is really fucking bright uh so you you can see around you see you, you have now moved into an area that is all sand dunes okay, okay? uh you're up you're down you're moving around uh, the wind has picked up a little bit and the dunes are kind of swirling but the the two animals are just starting to freak out okay we're not feeling the rumbling in the ground like we were before no rumbling okay. uh and, and um he ricardo asks he goes is there something wrong with the animals they seem nervous so there's sure. what do you want to do with them um uh try to uh, pacify them as best as we can. Uh, I guess. Animal handling. Okay. Mm. Of course. Ricardo's not having much success with Jerry. Jerry the Chocobo. Um, let's see. 16. Are you trying to calm Jerry down? Duh. Uh, 16 for Zadar as well. Nope. They are upset about something. Okay. Uh, Ricardo says, you want me to scout ahead? See if there's anything going on? Uh, sure. Uh, he starts walking up the sand dune. He gets to the top. He's kind of silhouetted in the moonlight. Uh, you guys are looking around. Give me investigation checks. Okay. Eighteen. <laughs> I rolled a one. Uh, Camille, you're looking around. You don't see shit. Uh, and then you look up on the sand dune. Uh, Zadar, you're looking in the opposite direction. And uh, Camille. I mean. 
itching my beard. <laughs> oh no. Ricardo is itching himself because he is starting to sprout oh, hair. What is uh, he? He turns around and drops to all fours and starts to uh, increase his mass. He looks like a bear and he begins to tromp down. Both animals are flipping out. Give me animal handling rolls. Okay. <laughs> Ricardo is a were creature. Yeah. yeah. Five. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Net twenty for Zadar. Twenty-two. Uh, you maintain control of the mayor, but Jerry says, "Fuck this noise." <laughs> Roadrunner. Mimi. <laughs> he takes off. Roll so initiative for uh... Ricardo. Oh, Ricky. Uh, 12 for initiative. 20. Uh, go after Jerry or deal with the creature that's bearing down on you. Me? Yep. I go after the creature. Okay, well, he's charging at you. You're charging at him. Uh, what do you want to do? I banish him. Okay. I can't see. How do I do that? Uh, let me look it up. Uh, so Wait. he disappears for what? And I, I think a minute. A okay. minute? That's it? Mm -hmm. yeah. and, unless it's from another plane, then it stays on its own plane, I think. Banishment, concentration, one minute, fourth level spell. Mm -hmm. Target must succeed on a charisma saving throw. What's your saving throw modifier? I think it's pretty high now. Oh, never mind. That's a four. <laughs> <laughs> so he's banished. He disappears. <laughs> ha ha. Um, um, you assume, uh, well, you know that it's a concentration spell. Jerry's taken off. I yell at Zadar. Kaka! 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 Like Kaka! Serpentine? <laughs> uh, okay, so what, what's the game plan? What are we doing? We're just beating cheeks after Jerry? Or... Yes. We gotta okay. get out here. She yeah. wants you to get Jerry. Uh, you're on the mayor, so you can outrun Jerry. Yeah, I'm gonna go try to run down Jerry. Well, I can pull Camille on the mayor, and we'll We'll go. We'll try to run down Jerry. Okay. That will slow down Jerry! Uh, Scarlet. But okay. But uh, I think the mayor has got what, like, compared to the Chocobo, what, 10 feet on it? Or is it? Yeah. yeah. It, it'll still catch up to it. Give me a D4 to see how many rounds it takes you to catch up to it. Okay. Let's see which direction Jerry runs. Uh, one. I rolled a one. Uh, it's going north. <laughs> Whoop. Uh, so uh, it'll take you one round. Uh, give me a dexterity check, Camille. As Zadar extends his arm and tries to hoist you up onto the Scarlet. Scarlet bitch. 15. <laughs> uh, you mount up. Uh, Zadar spurs it. Uh, within one minute, you guys are running neck and neck. Um, what do you want to do? It's right next to you. Um, I guess I leap on it and say, Jerry, it's okay. <laughs> Acrobatics. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See if you end up with sand in your taint or ostrich feathers in your nose. Oh, that's just gross. That's gross. <laughs> Booster dexterity improved. Uh, 13. 10. Uh, you managed to tackle Jerry. Uh, give me an animal handling. Camille sticks the landing <laughs> on the pommel horse. Right? <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay, animal 
Wrestling 19. Uh, yeah, you managed to get uh, Jerry pretty calm in that round. Round three. I say, Jerry, I'm so sorry. It'll never happen again. Uh, Zadar, this is the first time she's used banishment, uh, so you're a little bit puzzled. Uh, right. What do you guys want to do? Well, he's going to... Uh, Ricky the werewolf is going to emerge at its same point of disappearance so how how much distance have, have we covered to catch jerry uh about 30 feet oh just 30 feet okay. uh camille well you caught him in one round camille, oh okay give me a d d20 please Nineteen, and she maintained concentration. Okay. So Ricardo is still not there. This is round four. What are you doing? Uh, I Jerry guess... ran due north, so you still want to go that way, but you're this way. Ah. Uh, so we got to head back in the direction of Ricardo. <laughs> Well, yeah, but you'll be doing this. Okay. Because because you you were here, then you went here. Yeah. Now you got to go this way, keeping the star in your sights. Yeah, yeah. We're just we're we're hauling ass. <laughs> okay, you guys are sprinting. Uh, no concentration because you're just riding. Uh, after one minute. Uh, you hear a loud roar somewhere behind you. Uh, let's see if Ricardo is intelligent. Fair enough. Uh, who's doing the survival role to make sure you're staying on track? Uh, uh, I guess Zadar will. Uh, yes. Uh, 17 plus 2. So 19. You are fucking focused on keeping that in line. Uh, Camille, D4. Three. Three hours later, uh, the animals are pretty, pretty sapped. Um, okay. So you only managed to get seven hours in. Uh, it, it's first light. Uh, and again, sand, sand, sand. I mean, you're in the middle of fucking nowhere. Uh, but your mounts are pretty tired, uh, sitting on the borderline of exhaustion. Okay. <laughs> uh, can we throw out the sanctum and get the animals and ourselves inside? Yep. Okay. We'll do who wants, that. Who wants to D12 against me to see if you have a visitor? <sighs> David. D12? Yep. Five. Reroll. <sighs> Seven. <sighs> Afternoon breaks on day five. Okay, so how far are we behind? So uh, no visitor? Not that no we know visitor. of. Okay. <laughs> uh, of course you're in the sand dunes uh the wind has picked up a lot uh so the sand is just shifting back and forth on the one side of your sanctum it's kind of built up a layer mm -hmm. uh but nobody out here okay you can see uh, it is afternoon of day five because okay. of course you've done the, the night travel and so uh, where are we at this point <laughs> Uh, Zadar knows that he kept the star in, so as long as uh, Nomar Garcia told you the right star, mm -hmm. uh, you're still on track. But getting to the high point on the dunes, yeah, you can't really see because uh, there's a sandstorm. 
<laughs> uh, Camille, give me a D4. Four. Headed right for you. <laughs> Can we maintain the sanctum? What, uh, shield us from the storm? No. Time has elapsed. Okay. Um. Uh, How big is the storm? Big. <laughs> if you saw Mission Impossible, big. Mm -hmm. uh, it several miles in both directions. It's just a fucking storm front. It is just going to barrel into you. Uh, survival rules, please. Fifteen. Uh, twenty. Eighteen plus two. You got to get your mounts down and cover up their heads and yeah. cover up your own heads. You guys I've seen that get, movie. <laughs> you guys are about to get fucking drilled. Head all oh, down. okay. Uh, uh, animal the handling, doll, doll, both of uh, you. News of the world, whatever. So yeah. <laughs> Animal handling. Yep. Okay. Uh, Nineteen plus two. Fourteen. Down goes the mayor. Down goes Jerry. Uh, you guys get him down to the ground. You cover him up. This fucking storm just rolls across, and the sand is just traveling at fifty miles an hour, and it fucking hurts. Survival rolls both of you. If you pass, you only suffer half damage. As do your mounts. Oh, that was out of the thing. So uh, this is a big roll for you guys. Uh, sixteen for survival. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> well, I rolled a 19. Okay, then you're fine. Okay. Uh, you guys will suffer half damage. <laughs> okay. Ugh. No murder hobos. Uh, as you guys have dropped near the base of a dune, uh, you have managed to cover yourself up fairly well. You take 10 hit points each. Your mounts take 10 hit points each. Uh... Scarlet. Jerry, I love you. Is hurt, but okay. Jerry is pretty hurt, <gasps> uh, oh. but okay. No. The storm passes quickly, uh, and then nothing. Okay, uh, we'll we'll tend to Jerry and uh, try to uh, patch up Jerry as best we can. So short rest. Yes, mm -hmm. poor Jerry. He did the best he could. Yeah. Poor Jerry. That will take you into darkness. Nighttime. Okay. Uh, short rest. Uh, are you guys going to travel at night again? With a werewolf in tow. <laughs> Uh, we have to, yeah. I would, yeah. I would think, Camille. I mean, I see you kind of hemming and hawing there. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. uh, you're gonna get half distance this time because Jerry's pretty banged up. You guys are gonna have to walk every mm -hmm. once in a while to give him a break. Yeah. Uh, you will travel eight hours at half the distance. Uh, the morning dawns. The winds have changed. Uh, and they're fresh. They're fresh air. Um, pH fresh. pH fresh. Uh, <laughs> nice. So, do you want to take uh, the long rest again? Uh, yeah. Got to give Jerry some rest. Day six, afternoon. 
Uh, perception check, or I'm sorry, investigation checks. Uh, 15 plus 823 for Zadar. There is a glow in the eastern sky. Uh, Zadar, I'm going to need a constitution roll. Right. Constitution. Of uh, uh, 16. Okay. Uh, no additional penalty. Uh, yeah, there's a glow. Uh, and Zdar. Okay. We'll That's keep right it. on course. Focus and we'll. Give me a D4, Zdar. Right. Three. Uh, about 11 p.m., you are close enough to realize you seem to be at a metropolis. Oh, okay. Okay. So we've. Looks like we've made it to Menace. It would seem so. Okay. Uh, so uh, are we walking into a town? Uh, is there people, guards? You, uh, you climb that last ridge and you notice that Menace is in a bowl, uh, kind of like Vegas. Uh, a lot of fires, uh, a wall around it, uh, big. Big city, like Nathian kind of large city. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of pitch pots is what it looks like. You can you can kind of get the smell going. Uh, it, it, you think they got Brown. pitch pots? Uh, oily, mm. oily. These are Arabs. Uh, so that's what's lighting the city. Uh, but you are about an hour away, so you will roll into Menace uh, on midnight of day six. So, okay, know. we didn't lose too much. Yeah, not not, not too bad. Yeah. Uh, but there you go. Uh, and that will bring us to a close for this evening. David, what'd you think? I enjoyed it. I mean, it's been a while since I've played with you guys. So I, I, I had fun. Uh, yeah, I can't believe we got a werewolf intel after us. <laughs> So, yeah, that, that was uh, the only. There's only one encounter that you didn't find. Which one was, was that? Giant, was that? giant scorpion. Oh, okay, and the one that got uh, the horse. Another one. Sorry. Ricardo. Ricardo got his horse. Oh, God! Right over my head. Uh, yeah. Th three three nights of full moon. So yeah, yeah. Uh, now. Lycanthropy in your games, Frank. How does that work? Is it uh, nocturnal, diurnal? You know, diurnal human, no, nocturnal. Nocturnal. Okay, it's not like on demand, like in throw. Not, not unless it is advanced lycanthropy. Okay, all right. So, not unless you're Katangian blood lycanthropy. Katang. Okay. So, <laughs> nice. uh, uh, Carrie, what'd you think? It was good. It was fun. I liked it. Oh yeah, and yeah, you're good times. fucking far away from Nathan for once. So. Yeah. yeah, and you didn't you didn't die of dehydration or sunburn. So yeah. that, that was a huge plus. Yeah, that was a uh, boon that we. I didn't get to use the my good spells though that I just got. Uh, uh, you'll, you'll you'll have a chance. Uh, I know. You you were not meant to use good spells uh, on your travel days. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the Cacophony Edition. We appreciate your time, uh, whether you're watching us live or listening to us uh, post haste. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to play in a game or play with us, uh, like this Saturday, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Hit us up. We will try and get you on. Uh, if you're in the market for some cool new math rocks, Run on over to Twitter. Hit up at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. Uh, see if they have the time, energy, and inclination to go ahead and make you some cool ones. If uh, your game stinks, unlike this fantastic session, uh, <laughs> run over to oddfishgames.com and find uh, over 60 different adventure scent smells, uh, including uh, Desert Oasis, I think. I'm not positive if I've got the name right. Uh, okay. But those scents uh, bring... A little bit of uh, 
perspective uh, to your <laughs> in-person games. Uh, they also make something called the Shine System at oddfishgames.com. So check that out. That helps you do writing. Uh, this Saturday, we have a one-shot. Again, if you're interested, hit us up. Uh, Sunday will probably be the boys from Margu, boys and girl from Margu. Mm -hmm. See if they can ever find that dragon's horde. And next Tuesday, uh, David will be leaving the uh, Socium group, the, the secondary group uh, this time around. Uh, and they will be discussing uh, timelines and important dates. Uh, so check that out. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we appreciate you joining us. Uh, have a great evening and an even better weekend. Uh, big kiss and wave. Mm -hmm. uh, bye, uh, everybody. Okay, and muted and done.